This is Ling Chi, brush painting for beginners. Um, Valentine is right on that corner. So I thought I would do a simple rose for most of our uh, artists to do it on a car or uh, do a painting for your loved ones. So I'm going to do two different um, colors. Um, same composition and uh, one is yellow to represent friendship the other is red for uh, love and um, the brush I'm going to use is I can get by just one large combination brush today I'm using the uh, lotus brush or if you have a large flow, that's good. And I'm using a small flow for my leaves and, and uh, stain. And that way I don't need to change uh, colors. But you can see that I can use a pretty big brush to do everything. Uh, if you have um, moisture issues, then I will just stay with flow brush, the, a small combination brush. And I'm using um, the um, Bright Light Chinese watercolor. Um, you can use our 12 color companion set, which has yellow and vermilion and red and carmine. You can see that I used up pretty much. And then, and I have some uh, indigo and uh, indigo and retain yellow made the, the two greens. Since I have it all the time, so I'm not making greens on the, uh, from the watercolor. You can also use the indigo and yellow in your watercolor to make the leaves. So the reference that I'm using, we have Ning Ye's 108 flower the rose is on book number four and um, um which you can see is on the back of this um, book we also have a book which is going to be out of print very soon is johnson chow's uh, flower of four season the winter one and we only have a few copy left and there's also a a rose section and then we have a hundred and flower by Oshi Yang which is one of our most popular flower book and she also have a rose section and I will show it. Uh, all three artists do it a little bit differently but today I'm simplify everything so you can give it a try. So um I have two red for my red flower. I got red and carmine. One is a little pinkish. Carmine is a little bit on the pinker side. Red is a little bit on the orange side. And then for my uh, Yellow rose, I have mid yellow in the bright, uh, yeah, uh, bright color, watercolor. 
and then I have rattan yellow. So I'm using my mixing brush. Start with my lightest color. And smoosh, leave it dry. And I have my red. And calm my um the red rose I'm going to do it on the white gold flak paper. This is a single shone with a little gold speckle on there. So I rinse my brush and I tap it dry, make sure it's very dry on the body. And then I try to make my tip a little wet. So this is, every time when you paint, this is what you need to do. Dry your body of the brush and then with tip wet. And I first rolled my, uh, First, I use my, um, load my red, and then carmine. So some, um, our customer has made comment about composition and we, which we will have a special session later in our virtual uh, q and a session but in general is um host and guest so if you have one stroke bigger and then your other stroke will be smaller so like this one this side is a little smaller this side is a little bit bigger so to following that then right underneath the smaller one and i'm going to do a bigger stroke and then on the underneath the big one i'm going to do a smaller stroke and then underneath this other small one and I'm going to do a wrap around which is my bigger stroke and then on this one I'm going to tuck in with a smaller one then um, underneath the, this bigger one, it's going to be my smaller stroke. And then on this side, this time I'm going to do a wrap around stroke with a bigger stroke. So you can see I'm small, large, large, small, large, small, and small, large. So they are never the same. And then I'm going to do a skirt, which is toward the center of the flower.
that's it. That's my rose. So I'm going to do the, um, the leaves. So I first load my brush, flow brush, a smaller brush with green and then with indigo. Okay, and then with the tip, I'm going to touch my red and um, carmine, and then I'm going to do a sting. Okay, so um, then Green indigo again, and a little red. So then I'm going to follow this rose with this stroke, connecting to red. And then I use a little bit red to do the thorn. This is my red rose for the love of my life. This time I'm doing it on single shawn paper. You can do the double if you like um, easier control your moisture. I'm, ten I'm tending, um, tentatively I'm a very dry painter. going to do a, a quick one so you can see how easy it is. Again, bigger stroke, matching the top one and small stroke on the other side. And wrap around stroke. This is a smaller one, side one. And the other side, I'm going to do a bigger one. And then, I'll start to do the skirt. So in this way, I'm going to do a little bit different. So I'm going to follow it up with some side stroke. This smaller one, and this is a bigger one. And then wrap around. Okay, this is my yellow rose. And then I'm going to do the leaves on the side, uh, on the bottom of the
And then I use a little red. For the wine of the leaf. And then I'm going to use the green again and add a little bit red to connect the, the flower with this thing. And then I'm going to use a little bit red for the thorn. So happy Valentine to the friendship. <laughs>